Do you have some emails that you want to get into a Notion database or you're setting something up and you need to keep track of it or you're getting multiple emails for a course, you don't want to have to go back into your email and take care of them later? Well, I was in the same situation and I did a little bit of research, came up with something that worked for me and found a bunch of other stuff that might actually work better for you and your particular use case. So with that said, let's just dive into it. So recently what had happened, I was going through uh, in the email-based course and fantastic, great content, but it comprised of something like 20 emails and I wanted to eventually have it all in one spot so I could quickly go back through it instead of like going back, reading one email, looking for the one thing. It would be really nice to have it, especially in a PDF or uh, maybe a Google Doc, something like that so that I could go back through it quickly and I wanted to have it archived. Um, this is what this use case for me is gonna be, but I'm gonna mention some other stuff. There's people who maybe want to do more like project management in Notion um, or doing some other things. And I found out a bunch, a lot, of, or a lot about that. Uh, so I wanted to share some tools with you that might work. Again, there's definitely some pros and cons. Um, and I'll tell you what I used here at the end. Uh, if you are also in the same spot as me where maybe you have multiple emails, or you just have an email, like maybe for some reason you want to save the Productivity Academy email and how do you do that and what would you do? So um, I came across some people mentioning Notion Sender. This looks like a fantastic tool. You can find it at notioncenter.com. Uh, the problem for me was um, I think it's like eight or 10 bucks a month and it's meant for more heavy usage. I'm not saying eight or 10 bucks is good or bad. Um, it is what it is. If you want to use it, uh, go and check it out. But for like a one-time use, it wasn't what I was looking for. I do want to point this out though for people who maybe have like a really heavy use case for this because this might be the way to do it. Um, you know, you can use like they're saying, transforming your Notion database into an email hub. Again, maybe if you're doing some really advanced project management stuff like that in Notion, this might be for you. Not really what I needed it for, um, but again, looks like a pretty well-developed tool. I've seen a lot of people mentioning it, so something to check out, again, if you're looking for kind of uh, into and out of Notion. Um, also looked at Bardeen as a Chrome extension. I believe there is the ability to create a page. Um, it decided not to go down this route. Again, I was kind of looking for a one-time thing where I didn't really want to go into it. If I had maybe a use case where I was taking um, like screenshots or taking one email at a time, that could also work. So potentially something here. I'm sure there's a lot of Chrome extensions that could do something like this. Um, so definitely something worth looking at. And of course, Zapier. There is definitely a way to do this. You can set up your own email um, in Zapier. Uh, so I believe that that is with a paid account. Um, I, I have a paid account, so I can't say for sure. It's been a while since I've looked at what their uh, exact uses is. Uh, but that's something you can do also with make.com. I believe you have the same ability where you can get an email address. So you could forward that email to this address and then it will send it on. Um, so if you're not familiar with Zapier or make.com, the idea is something is the trigger or that action that you're doing here. And the trigger in this case would be when you send an email to that specific email address that you set up, then it goes on and does something else, which you define here. In this case, it would say create a database item in Notion. So obviously you need to have a database. You would need to uh, have that all connected, but that's kind of handy. So maybe if you wanted to have like an email inbox of sorts for some reason, um, again, this would work. But for me and a single use case, this was a little over the top um, and not something I wanted to put the time or effort into. I have used this um, in some other videos. I'll put a link up uh, for that. Uh, for using different tools, it can be really handy for getting moving information around. Uh, I believe I've used it with the Remarkable 2 and a couple other tools. Um, but a handy feature, something to keep in mind when you really need this. Uh, but for what I ended up doing um, was just going to, I love PDF. So I do love PDF. I love PDF.com is a great site, um, tons of great tools and you can merge PDF files. So what I did was ended up just going into my email and I used Gmail, G Suite, and you can just file print or um, you can print and select print to PDF. Um, then go in, select the PDFs you want. You know, let's just say those two, you can select how you want the order to be. You click on merge and you get it and you just can download it right away. Then I had one big file, then I was able to upload it where I needed it. 
I'm not going to save that for now. Um, and I ended up using that. So in my case, uh, it was a pretty large file. So I believe um, I went ahead and uploaded it to Notion. But another idea that's probably better for long term and what I'll end up doing with this once I have everything from the course in there is move it into somewhere like Google Drive or Dropbox and add a link to that um, just as more of a long term storage is how I like to arrange things. Um, a lot of bulk storage, big items. Once we're, you know, I think one of the PDFs was like 100 megabytes. So having that somewhere else meant for long-term storage, I think would work better. But hopefully this helps you out as far as some ideas on how to do this. Again, for the single use case here, like I did, I really think that, you know, it's worth the time. It's kind of annoying to go out and print the emails uh, to file, to PDF, and then merge them. But it did, really did just take a few minutes. And for one time thing, I think it makes sense. Whereas if you have some ongoing project management, you have an ongoing need, um, you know, maybe you're using Notion as kind of your, again, project management system, then one of these other tools or automations might be worth the time to set up and invest in. Uh, so hopefully this helps you with uh, your email and Notion. If you have any questions or comments about it, just uh, leave it in the comments below.